What's good? It's your boy One coming at you once again. Yeah, back with another review. This time on my custom 1 6 scale Leslie Vernon from Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. And what can I say, man? This was a fun, fun character to create. Um, totally different from, you know, a lot of characters that I've been working on. You know, I've been doing a lot of Michael Myers and, you know, some Jason stuff. So this was a nice change of pace, man. So uh, I guess what I can say is the film is one of those <laughs> out there films. It, it's a good film, man. It, it, it's pretty much, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it's, it's almost like if Michael Myers can tell you step by step how he were to do things, uh, you know, from the stocking aspect and, you know, body placement, all that. You know, I mean, that's what this movie is, man, pretty much. But uh, I guess I'll get started with it. Now, R. Lee, Handmade Horror, shout out to R. Lee, uh, had done this figure uh, previously, you know, before I, I, I had a chance. He did it quite a while ago, and, and it was just the sickest thing I've ever seen. And so I always wanted to make one. And, um,. Just never really had the time, but then when somebody actually commissioned it, I, I was I was pretty happy with it. You know, what I mean, something different to do, and I mean, Arlie killed it, man. I mean, he did an awesome job. So I'm just hoping I can keep up with him. So he really inspired me to work a little harder on this custom. So again, man, I dedicate this video to you, homie. <laughs> I guess I'll start off with the feet. Now this is a barefoot killer, man. He walks around the woods everywhere with no shoes on. Uh, something, again, unique about this character. So the, the feet are really just dirty as hell. He's been walking through the mud and just make sure I got the weathering on these. So I really took my time in weathering these feet right here. Look very realistic. Um, he has like the long johns underneath here. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, Arlie gave me a lot of tips on this. I mean, I checked out the film too, and you know, and and wanted to make sure I got real close to what it looked like in the film. But you know, Arlie definitely was—he uh, gave me a lot of help. So thank you again. <laughs> and I, I made sure I tried to get all the little tears that I seen in the flick. You know, what I mean, to match up with the figure, uh, like these, and just a hole in the knee. A lot of weathering, man. Lots of weathering to really just bring out the the realism of uh, the character, man, and to make this figure look realistic. I'll turn him around, give you guys a nice back shot. A couple of tears on the back. Shredded overalls. Nuts. Alright, let's get back to this as we get up a little higher. More weathering. Had a lot of fun weathering this bad boy. And uh, we got the thermal underneath. Try to make sure I got all the specific tears and holes on the sleeves as well as the body part, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's pretty accurate, guys. The weathering, I worked really hard to get the uh, the color to match the one in the film. I think I achieved it. Everything is strategically placed. Weathered hands. A lot of blood splatter going on here, as well as this hand. I guess we get to the scythe. Now this was cool. I had a lot of fun doing this scythe too. This is a different, different kind of weapon. I might have to add some gloss to the blood, but this this was a crazy uh, thing to make as well. It was a little difficult, but uh, you know, once I finally got it, it was awesome, man. Real wooden handle and real metal pieces. You see, it's pretty accurate with the designs. Sorry, I'm zoomed in a little too much right here. <laughs> Give you guys a shot at the other side. Nice blood splatter, rusted. Real cool weapon, man. It goes good with him. Perfect, perfect weapon. I don't think he would look good with anything else, man. He could have had a machete or a knife or something, but this, this right here definitely makes the character, man. Uh, get to getting to the mask now. The mask, I don't know why it looks a little green right here, but it's it's definitely got more of a bluer tint, a bluish green tint to it. It looks really green on camera, but it's it's not it's not really bright green like this at all. 
but there is a lot of weathering and spots and just browns and blacks and I know you want one of these Odell unfortunately this one right here is a commission but I will be hooking you up man especially for your patience I really appreciate that homie so uh, you can consider it done alright no worries about that it's on your boy uh, getting uh, a little more to the thermal the whole collar was ripped off and we got the little tear right here trying to be real specific again um, the hair you know I think it goes down a little more it's kind of like this because honestly I prefer the hair kind of up and wild I don't know I like it like that I think it looks cooler like that you know what I mean but you know at the same time man you, it's up to you man so you know what I mean and of course the mask is removable now before I remove the mask I want to show you now uh, this this is an epoxy sculpt mask I took it back to the old school a little bit no uh, I, didn't, I didn't cast it you know or sculpt it in clay and cast it in resin I actually went back and did some epoxy sculpt work I wanted to see if I still had it you know what I'm saying and uh, I do man this is I'm very happy with how this came out uh, but the head underneath is this one right here I want you to pay close attention to this head sculpt because um, this is the exact same one that I used for Leslie Vernon's head sculpt so check this out because a lot of you guys never get a chance to see when I was re-sculpting the difference and, and really how drastic the change uh, is from sculpting one face to another so let me remove the mask and I, of course you can have it like kind of hold uh, you know, position it on his head like in the film I can't do it right now but um, a very strong resemblance to the actor, a real serious look, real like determined wanting to kill you. But I mean, if you look, the face is totally changed. The cheekbones, the shape of the jaw, obviously the mouth, the nose, nothing is the same besides the ears and the eyes. The forehead, the hair, everything's been sculpted, the eyebrows. So it, it bears a very strong resemblance to the actor. I, I was very happy with the sculpt, how it came out. I mean, just looking at it right here, I mean, it looks just like him. I mean, I get a little closer. The mouth, uh, painted black. His eyes are painted all black around there, just so, you know, the big eye holes of the mask, you don't see his flesh tone. So, ball jointed head, real happy. You know, using that ball joint, man. I think that's the future of all custom figures, man. Ball joints all the time. Really loving this figure, man. So there you go. Give you guys another side-by-side -side comparison. Totally different, man. It was fun, man. Ne uh, next one, I'll try and do the head sculpt from scratch. I've been really enjoying doing that. So there it is, my custom 1-6 scale Leslie Vernon from Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. Slip this mask on real quick. There you go, man. A very unique piece uh, on the level of, you know, I would really like to see him next to Babyface. I know that uh, Magnus wants one of these, so I'm going to hook you up too, duh. I, I think he would look freaking sick next to uh, Babyface and maybe Victor Crowley. As you guys know, I am working on Victor Crowley. And again, this was a commission. So uh, for those of you who, you know what I mean, are interested, I am accepting commissions. So hit me up. And if you want one of these or, uh, you know what I mean, something different, I can pretty much make anything. This and these two guys are going to the same dude. So here you go, man. A nice look at both of them together. Let me just, there we go. So you get a nice, I mean, this is very, very unique, you know, set right here, figures, man. Ain't nothing like that. You're never, you're not going to see this in anybody else's house. And that's what I love doing custom work, man. That's why I love it so much. Uh, let me show you guys that while we're here, better look at, you know, some stuff that you guys couldn't see with my, you know, my, I was using my phone. This time I'm using a real camera. So here's my Jason. New blood, Jason, right here. Uh, my Night of the Creeps. These guys are all, you know, spoken for. So, I mean, I know you guys have been giving me offers. I'm getting back to you guys right now. Tar Man, Return of Living Dead, Part Two. And then Night of the Creeps, Axe Zombie. And then, of course, you know, we got uh, Pluto 
from The Hills Have Eyes remake. Leaky pus coming out of his eye. Um, I'm going to give you guys a nice little peek at this. The Horbit Slasher. I'm not going to get too much into it, but I am uh, designing the Horbit Slasher. Uh, they will be available on Horbit.com very, very soon. And at a price that everybody can afford. Yes, you youngsters out there, you know what I'm saying, who you know offer me certain amounts of money. You know what I'm saying? You guys can afford this piece. All of you guys pretty much can. So I will let you guys know as the details get, you know, as I get a little closer and figure out how I'm going to do things. Um... I will have photos of this available on the Horbit.com forum, my forum area, so if you want to check it out, you know what I mean, the Horbit.com, the Horbit Slasher figure, which this is just a prototype, we will be giving away one or two maybe, we'll see what's up, to make sure you guys, you know, enter, well, we will be doing a contest very soon, so make sure you guys sign up, Horbit.com, okay, sign up for the forum, a lot of you guys are slow, man, a lot of you guys are on the forums, but you're not signing up, man, sign up, you got questions you want to ask me, I will answer them, you got, um, you know what I'm saying? Something you want to show off if you're a collector, a customizer. I want to see what you have, man. So hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up in my area. If not, then just check out the forum anyway. See what's popping in the news section. Rabbit and Red Radio. They interviewed Danielle Harris. I mean, Todd Farmer. Awesome stuff. Hopefully, I'll be on there, too. So uh, make sure you guys check it out. You know what I mean? Lend some support to your boy. And uh, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, a lot of exclusive stuff. I will be putting a lot of stuff on there that you won't see anywhere else. A lot of photos of different figures and uh, work in progress pics. A lot of my people already joined up on there. Darth Magnus, Beta 2G, CCG, Team Serb, uh, John6160, Zach Xander, B Maga. What up, man? I'm going to hook you up with that. I'm going to hook you up with them photos and a video very soon, man. We like 95% done. But I'm just kind of, you know, giving you a hard time. But, uh, <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm going to blow your mind. And, uh, you know, a lot of other people have joined up, man. So make sure you guys sign up for the forums. I will not, I cannot stress that enough. And, uh, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll be hitting you guys with a lot of stuff. Shout out to, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, CCG, my boy Magnus, Beta 2G, R. Lee Handmade Whore for, you know, inspiring me to do a much better job than I probably would have done <laughs> on uh, this bad boy. And just everybody, man, Justin and Horbit.com family, you know what I'm saying? All you guys, really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to keep it moving, man. Keep it moving. i got a lot of stuff coming. The videos will not stop. All right? got a lot of things going on, man. So look out for that. And uh, I'm not going to give you too much. This isn't even a, this is just a prototype, man. This is just a prototype. Oh, also, follow me on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Once customs, Twitter.com. And um, I also started a Facebook. I will be up, you know, loading photos and all sorts of things as well. So, you know what I mean? Follow me on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook when you guys get a chance. And, uh, you know what I mean? Join me at the Horbit.com forums, man. And uh, that's it, man. Subscribe and, you know, friend request me. Whatever you guys want to do or friend invite me and I'm there. Once customs, man. Much love. Peace. Hehehe. <laughs>